Multiflora Rose Control. Multiflora Rose is an exotic invasive species. It is absolutely awful. Pastures, disturbed areas, woodland edges. You can see I'm wearing gloves for a reason. This stuff makes it almost impossible uh, to walk through your woodlands. You can see the leaf here. It's got a finely serrated margin. The one ID tip for this to identify it versus native rose is the hairy bract at the base of the leaf. I'm gonna pop it off right here, boink. That right there, that hairy bract is a dead giveaway versus our native rose species. So keep your eyes peeled. Harry Brack sounds like a detective or something. I don't know. Red stems and these almost fish hook looking backwards pointing thorns. So much different than raspberry thorns. They're almost like eagle claw fish hook looking. So absolutely awful to deal with, to walk through. Ow, careful. A lot of times the old stems have a different coloration than the new. The newer ones being a dark red, older being brown. Let's go see if I find any more. So like other invasive species, these can absolutely take over forest understory, forest edges, big pain in the neck to walk through, hard to access your woodlands. I'm pretty good at spotting this stuff. All right, so we've ID'd it, let's get rid of it. One of the best times to hit this with herbicide is when it's in flower. That's the best time to hit it. It's putting a lot of energy into flowering, and so you can really annoy it with some herbicide at that point. So there's two ways to do this. On smaller plants, foliar spray is really impactful. Do, 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 do. Pretty easy and quick. Perfect application, good job. No dripping. This is not good. Over applying herbicide can hit non-target species. You can see the amount on here. Okay, that's good, that's good. Dripping. A lot of blue on there, the dye that makes it visible. That's way too much herbicide. If these things are huge and foliar spray is not a viable option, you can do this kind of painful method of doing basal bark spray. We've got a video on that. On the lower portions of the stem, a multi rose. So coating the lower 18 inches of the stem with that herbicide. All right, the gloves are off. If you're really uh, aspirational, you can dig these out as well. Just make sure you're getting the entire root system. This works good for little plants like we see here. So I'm gonna punch in here. Good activity for a hot summer day. Try to get all the root mass you can when digging these up. Kind of a pain in the neck, but you can catch them early and you don't have to mess with herbicide. There you go. But yeah, make sure you're hitting the majority of that root system. There we go. Look at that. Got a good portion of the roots. This thing is toast. Yeah, I win. Great job. So we showed you the impact that multi rose can have, how to ID it and how to remove it. All right, well, we'll see you in the woods.